Jerry Fugic of Habitat for Humanity, Washington State, came down to do some blow-a-door testing for South Puget Sound Habitat for Humanity. Um, the blower part test, what we're looking at is to look at air exchanges per hour for a house and to, to try and get it as, most, as energy efficient as possible. The, energy, the uh, blower door is basically a very simple frame with a fabric covering on it with a, a blower on it. We have a manometer and a speed controller. When we do the blower door test, we close all the windows in the house, shut the vents, turn off the whole house fan, basically so we don't, and, but we don't do anything to any of the vents as far as the uh, keeping them taped over or anything like that to the outside. It allows them naturally to do it. When we do the blower door, we put the house in a vacuum and we bring it down to 50 pascals, which is a standard measurement for uh, Energy Star Washington. And by using a variable speed unit, we can bring that up. We also take once uh, reading from the outside environment and then we take another reading from the blower door we enter it into the manometer which reads this side here what the uh, uh, speed the pressure is and the other gives us the data for our air exchanges I will now bring the speed up on the blower door to 50 pascals. It's a little noisy. We take the number the blower door gives us and put them into an equation. These numbers here tell us that we've built a very tight house. To check where leaks do occur, we use what's called a smoke stick. This tells us where air leaks out of the home so we can fill the holes and improve our building techniques for the future. Most leaks occur around windows and where walls connect to the roof. These are common, but simple and inexpensive fixes to help the houses be even more energy efficient. At Habitat, we always love to show off what we're doing. So if you'd like to learn more, visit us at our work site, stop by our office, give us a call, or check out our website.